So, I'm going to go in here and uh, show you how to uh, to send a message uh, via the APRS Droid app, and I'll be sending it to the uh, to the FT2D, and uh, we'll take a look and see what that's like here. So here we go. So first, we'll go to the the app drawer. We launch the APRS Droid app. We need to uh, initiate a connection, and in order to do that, we have to click Start Tracking. As soon as we do that, it'll automatically uh, connect to the APRS IS server, and it'll process your filters and connect you, and it'll send a a one-time beacon for uh, for the initial connection, and uh, that's it for that. So. To send a message, we go up here to the top of the screen, and we've got a uh, a couple of uh, well, about four icons up there. Of course, we've got the three dot menu for Android, and beside that, there's looks like a little like a like a kite or an airplane or whatever have you. We're going to click on that, and we're going to click send message. Uh, two at the bottom to send a new message and we'll type in the call sign of the radio in this case it's going to be the Yaesu FT2D and the call sign that I have for that particular device is uh, N2TEK-7 and uh, so the dash 7 is the uh, uh, the identifier uh, SSID and so then we'll type in the message and we're going to just say uh, testing APRS and a little exclamation point and we'll click OK and so the message that we sent will show up on the screen and it'll tell you one of seven after it's it'll try seven times to send the message to the radio if it's unable to locate the radio then uh it'll it'll eventually just time out but for each time that it tries it'll go through like one through seven two through seven three through seven four through seven and so on and so on and but once the message is received the try times will stop and the message will turn green and that's your indicator that the uh, the radio that you sent it to actually did get the message so, so you know they got it. Uh, you're just waiting. Uh, you're waiting for them to send you one back, maybe. Uh, anyway, so that's that's sending a message on uh, on the APRS Droid app. And I'll show you one more uh, way to send a message to uh, uh, to get to weather. It's pretty neat. You can actually send a message to WXBOT. And you can type in like uh, current for the current conditions and click OK to send it. And again, you've got, uh, and there it goes. The, the server did get the message. And so now we're just waiting for uh, the return message with our weather. And there that is. So we sent a message to WXBOT. And as soon as you send a message, along with uh, like uh, you could do brief current. Uh, Today, tomorrow, tonight, um, uh, for example, like tonight, we could send that. And they got the message instantly. Now we're just waiting for the return information that I wanted, the tonight forecast. Mm -hmm. And there it is. This will probably be broken up into a couple of different messages. Uh, maybe or maybe not. But uh, anyway, so, so there you go. Uh, and that's just ba just a basic rundown. Anyways, if you get a chance, check out that WXBOT server on APRS as well. If you haven't, uh, maybe you're a new ham and APRS knew you, it'd be awesome to check that out. If you are a current ham and you've already been well versed in APRS but you didn't know about the WXBOT, this makes a uh, a nice little uh, uh, add-on to APRS to be able to, to get the forecast uh, at where you're located at uh, in an instant, pretty much. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll catch you back here shortly.